very good. Yeah. In this armpit as well, there'll be a few lines. I'm just putting this in as just lines for now. Just so it's got like the folds in his armpit. I'll put a line in there very, very lightly. Just so we've got a very light line going in. Yeah. That's okay there. We'll put some transparent black underneath that as well to hide the hole later. That'll be fine. Maybe a bit of cream in here just to kind of mix it in together. And a little bit dark in this side as well, just to make up the uh, this kind of the shadow. And I'll put the real solid black in it just yet, just for the definition. Hmm. Now there's black splodges in the head as well that I want to try and put in. So hi, Hannah. I'll just put this way over here a bit, just to put this in his face. I This is just going in very very loose And then there's lines here as Thanks, Hannah. It'll get there eventually. It's 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 on its way. Needs a little bit more work in here and there. Some of the little markings in its face, I think there's a few of them are kind of like diamond shapes, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to put a few very loose kind of diamond shapes in here, where I think it needs it. Here and there. The one under his eyes a bit of a splodge really, it kind of comes down low there. I should probably chop that in a bit more, make it a bit more angled. That's alright, that's getting there. And then we want a few more just leading down to the back of his head. On to his back and onto his neck. We might make them a little bit lighter later, they're probably going to be a bit too dark. But it's not so bad. In fact, there's another one on his nose, so there's a general curve here. And then we'll just put one in here a little bit. Hit that again with some white spray paint right at the end, just to give it that kind of definition. Yeah. And we'll just take it down a little bit further. On to here. Hi Tommy. Jamie, you alright? Thanks Jamie. Thanks, Pam. That's in his nose. Little dummy dog there. 
There's an Australia. What else are we doing? Back of the neck. I'm just going to try and go again and put a little bit more definition in the back of his neck with this brown colour. It kind of goes into the top of the flipper and in. So we've got to go like the curve here. Down from the neck, into there, top of there, and in. Difficult bit now, it's trying to like kind of define where the muscle tones are in the neck. I think we'll be back here a bit more. Just to put them in a little bit more and shape them out. Once again, I'm working over that gross baby sick green just to give a little bit more definition of where we want to go with it. And we'll get there eventually. Like I said, it's very kind of, very kind of loose, very kind of free this job. I don't want to get too bogged down with tiny details that you're not going to see when you're on the bottom of the poly tunnel. Text to make two minutes. <laughs> two minutes, guys. People talk to me. Hey. It inside there, that's it, and then all this is curved. Curve, curve, curve. Yeah, now then, do we put in some very, very light cracks on the bottom of the belly? I still Okay, I've just mixed up in my hand white with a little bit of that dark brown to make kind of a greyish brown colour just to put a little bit more definition in the face and in the beak just to give it a kind of a bit quick dabby dab just to make it pop a bit more 
I'm defining that as the beak. Put that line in through his mouth. And then I can always hit that again later with white to make it pop a bit more. It's important that we have this kind of things going on, I think. Cross that also under the eye. Give that definition of what we're after. Thanks, Ian. Cheers. Wait, put that in there. And go in with a bit more white. Just to actually there's white in my hand. I'll mix this white in with this side and just take it back in from the very tip of the nose. Sweet, yeah, no problem Ian, um, if you inbox me I'll get back to you later on. I've got a fair bit on at the moment with this project, I've got some few bits to do. Um, at the weekend in Middlesbrough, Hemlington area, um, but then after that I'll sure out and sort you guys something up before Christmas, I'll just let the squeezies in. My brother's here, alright Chris? But yeah, as I say, anyone interested inbox me guys on Facebook or you can go to the website or you can go to my... Uh, even email me, um, it's info at illuminationwallart.co.uk and I'll get back to you guys, um, I'll probably get, do it tonight, I'll go through my emails and we'll sort it out while I'm designing for other clients. Not a problem, more than happy to help out when I can. Yeah, and all that in there would be lit up in there. Oh, this is lit up. I'm going to make that a good thing when we go on it. Sweet. Yeah. Just adding a little bit more white to this now over the top of this dark because it kind of needs it. It's a bit too sort of full on. Bit too garish. It needs to have something to it. A little bit something here just over the top. I might even hit it with some gloss in a minute just to make sure it's like really solid. Just to put some very kind of bright tones in this bad boy. And then just very lightly dab it over the top just to give him something on there. Now then, this underside isn't exactly Solid, I don't know why. I could probably put a line in here actually just to crisp it off. Just so we have some form of definition to the, to this guy. Like he's, he will be fading off into nothing later when I hit it with spray paint again, but I do kind of want to just make him look as solid as possible as we go. Yeah, there's a bit more of a curve in here, but I'll put a little later with them. Uh, tones. I think now if I mix some yellow in, I can get like a cream effect going on, and that's what I want really in this guy. He needs to have more creams in his stomach, a bit more definition here and there before we hit it with the spray paint again. And then we'll go with final details. I normally kind of have a process of I line it, spray it, line it again, but with this being more realistic, I'm taking a little bit extra time just to make sure it's got like definition where I need it here, there, and everywhere. 
I dab along this side of this this line here, and maybe take it back in a bit, because he has got some like nice soft tones where this line is, where it kind of connects to the stomach and goes back into the uh, into the flesh. Just rise it in a little bit here, flick it in over the top of this. That should give it more of the definition that I'm after. I'll spray it again with transparency and stuff, transparent turquoises, blues. Because he's under the sea, we'll, all of it will have kind of a green, kind of turquoisey tinge anyway. But you see here, I'm lifting this up and it's just pushing back the layer underneath that isn't quite dry yet and it's merging together to kind of give it that, that really nice sort of blend back into itself. Whilst also keeping that kind of dark tone that I put in before. Put a little bit more in here, just to lift it into this. There we go. We are getting there. Yeah, a lot of this will be picked up later with the spray paint as I go over it, just to kind of get the blends in. For now, I just want to kind of put in what I can with this as a kind of a guideline, really, that eventually turns into a final piece. You just got to keep adding and adding and adding to it and not get knocked off when it doesn't work out first time. Because you have to keep going and you have to keep learning. That's what I did. You should never be afraid to make mistakes when, you make, when you're painting because if you make a mistake, then you can learn from it. It's when you keep continually making mistakes and not learning, then that's the problem. And there's so many guys out there that do it, so many artists out there who fail, give up, try it first time, won't budge on their ideas, won't kind of look at a different way of thinking, and then that's ultimately their downfall. You should always be looking at other people, at other artists, and other things that inspire you and make you, you know, and see it as a way of making you a better artist and a better person, ultimately. You've got to just keep going with it, man. Let's see what else is going on here. Uh, Put a bit more white in here, a bit more yellow, just to get that softness to it. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, we are getting there. What we need to do is a bit more definition. In fact, my reference is facing the opposite freaking way, but I can't flip it yet. Be alright. So, let's see where we're going with this now. Lighter tones in the top of his neck, so it's here where we want to put that in. Yeah, it's getting it. There we go. That'll just fade off to melt there. Little soft bits flicked in from there. Okay, back of the neck. Back of his neck will go over more detail in it later, so I'll put that in for now. Oh, music's gone off. I think I'll put on some Metallica. Why not? I don't think Lars is looking. I don't think I'll get, I'm gonna get bollocked off him. He did see. And now I'm getting sued. Brilliant.